Hello and welcome to another episode of Fun Science with Alex. Uh, I'm here today to show you two cool things that you can do at home. You can make your own toys. Uh, we are going to be making a balloon hovercraft using a CD, an old bottle and some tape and a balloon. Uh, and also a cool optical illusion using nothing but a pen, some card and tape. So the first thing we're going to do is make an optical illusion. And to do this we're going to need some card that is exactly the same size. So we're going to fold this in half. Uh, we're going to cut out some squares. Uh, I think we're going to cut out, there we go, just make sure they're a nice sort of decent size. I think that will do. I'm making quite big for the video. You can make them any size that you want. So you have two squares that are about the same. Uh, and it's very important that they're about the same because uh, we're going to be making an optical illusion with these two. And you need them to be both about the same size so that it works. Uh, what we're going to do, we are going to draw two images that overlap. Uh, so, uh, just a very, very simple image. Uh, first of all, uh, if we do, say, a nice big fishbowl. And on the other one, we're going to put some fish where you might expect to see them inside the bowl. Uh, let's put one here, like that. So we have our fish and we have our bowl here. Now what we're going to do, uh, we're going to need to stick these to our pen uh, or pencil like this. Now you can make these as colourful as you like. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, very simple. I'm going to stick one to the pen using some sellotape, if I can find the end. There we go. We only need a little bit of sellotape. Perfect. And that's going to go there like that. So you want the pen to be about as central as you can possibly make it. I'm going to put a little bit more tape on there just to keep it absolutely extra secure. Perfect. And just trim the edges. There we go. Now the reason we want these to be pretty much identical is because we're now going to stick this one over here. Now you can use glue if you want to, uh, but what I'm just going to do is tape down the edges, I think. So the best way to do this, get some tape and stick it to that side. Lay this next to it on there like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Ah. I'll show you. Put this here, put the tape underneath it like that. And then you're just going to fold that over and fold the tape over. And it is stuck. And then what you can do is you can just trim the excess tape off the ends here using your scissors. and there we go perfect so we now have our pen with our paper on it we have our fish on one side and we have our bowl on the other side and what you're going to do you're going to move it really fast like this and if you can get it moving fast enough You'll see it better in in real life. If you get it moving at the right speed, I'm not sure if I can do it. Let's see if I can do it here. It should look like the fish are inside the bowl. Let's see if we can do it. If you can spin it really, really fast, maybe that way. If you can spin it like that, you'll hopefully see it looks like the fish are in the bowl. Uh, where's the camera? There. I think you got it just then. There we go. In fact, we'll make the bowl a bit more. Uh, oh, I've got a pen here. Um, I've got another pen just over there. One second. We'll make the bowl a bit easier to see. Let's colour it in as dark as we can and a bit thicker. Like this, because the fish seem to be quite easy to see. 
So I'm just going over this. Ooh, it's not working. Right. I've just sort of gone over that as much as I can in the pen so that you can see it. And if I do this, uh, there you go. You should. There we go. We got it then. Fish inside the bowl. Uh, and you can do that with anything. So just get yourself some nice card. Get two sort of related pictures or non-related if you want to. And if you spin it, you'll see them overlap. And it will look like the fish are in the bowl. Uh, the next thing, you're going to need a bottle of water that's going to need to be empty. So I'll just empty this one. There we go. And you're going to need to take the screw top off. And we're going to need this bit. So what we're going to need to do is get some scissors. And you might want to get your parents to help you with this. Uh, and you're going to try and cut in here. Uh, give me a second. Uh, you're going to cut in here and cut around here like this. One moment. There we go. So we've just cut this little bit off. Now you're going to want to try and get this uh, as flat as you can. But it doesn't matter if you don't. Uh, you're also going to want to take this little blue ring off here. Uh, I would get some parents to help you do this. Uh, it can be a bit tricky. And I don't want anyone hurting themselves in doing this. Uh, so what I do, just get your parents and get them to cut this little bit off and take this little blue ring off here like that. Once you've done that, you're going to want to get uh, an old CD that you don't need anymore. And you're going to attach that uh, to the top of the CD here uh, using some duct tape. And you want this to be about as airtight as humanly possible. So you're going to want to use a lot of it. So let's show you. In fact, if you've got any uh, bike tire repair stuff, you get something called rubber cement in there. You can also buy it on Amazon. Um, and what you get there is like a nice little rubber paste and you can use that to make this completely airtight. Uh, I am going to stick it down like this and then go around it. So I'm going to stick it where I want it using a few tabs like this and then I'm going to go around the edges and make sure it is completely airtight so no air is going to get out or at least very little air is going to get out of this there we go this is all sticking out right now you want to try and keep all of this on top of the CD you don't want it going over the edges and you'll see why when you see what it is that we are making in fact, actually, if you go to the Science Museum, you can get kits that help you make uh, something very similar to this, which is where I got the idea from, but don't tell them. There we go. And a little bit more just to make it nice and good and airtight so that nothing, or no air anyway, is getting out of that. Some of that there, just so no air gets out. And it should be right over the hole here. Now you want to keep that hole open because you want that, that to be where a lot of the air gets out. Because what we're going to be doing in just a moment is making this into a hovercraft. Uh, so at the moment, this is not moving because there is a force called friction acting on it. So if you, you have to push it to do that. Um, and it's a little bit hard to move. Um, and you can make that easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to put like a layer of air underneath it. And to do that, we're going to use a balloon. We're going to blow the balloon up and place it over the top of the, that there. Uh, and it will, as, as it lets the air out, it will um, lift the CD up ever so slightly. You probably won't see it on here, but it will make it incredibly easy to move. So it won't sort of slow down and stop there like that, like it's doing now. It will, in fact, move um uh more freely now you're gonna to want to be very careful that you don't let any of the air out of the balloon prematurely uh so to do that you're gonna to want to twist the balloon quite a lot to stop the air coming out so i'll just show you uh we're gonna take the balloon stretch it blow it up and the more air you put into the balloon uh, the longer this is going to float for, and you're going to want to twist like this. 
so that the balloon, when you let go of it, doesn't let any of the air out. And with it twisted, you're going to put it over the top there like that. Then you can let it untwist. You can let some of the air out, and you'll see it moves around almost of its own accord. Um, and that is something that I think is really cool, to be perfectly honest. I'll show you again. Uh, so, you want to blow the balloon up. <laughs> Twist the end so that none of the air comes out. But you don't want to tie it off, because if you tie it off, none of the air will come out when you want it to. Uh, you're then going to... Take the twisted end over the top of your thing there, pinch above the twist and let go there so that it just untwists for you. And then in fact we'll put this on the floor so you can see it. Let's put that here. You'll see it moves sort of on its own accord. Nice and freely like a CD shouldn't. Make sure it is an old CD that you're using because it will get scratched up. Um, so don't use your mum's favourite CD uh, or your favourite DVD because it will, it will start getting scratched up on the bottom. Um, make sure that there are no air escapes here otherwise it's not going to lift the CD up to move it around. Please do have a go at these science experiments. They're cool science toys that you can make. I will see you again in about a week's time with some more cool science and maths that you can do. Please check out the rest of our YouTube channel. There's loads of stuff on here. Thank you very much. I have been Alex Foden.